Good morning and welcome back. So today we are doing some village infrastructure and by that I mean we are expanding or extending the um, village footpath. Now this village footpath is going to continue uh, over to the next uh, village, the neighboring village of Nasisar. And uh, the people from Nasisar they are extending the footpath up to us and we are extending the footpath um, down to them so we're gonna meet in the middle hopefully so this is this is it people this is the footpath as you can see over there the, um, the already finished uh, footpath and this is where the extensions begin and um, you can see they've laid wood, long wood, um, on both sides and the stone and the rocks in the middle to make a foundation out of it. And then they'll mix um, some uh, cement with um, water and hopefully it can become concrete like this. And um, that's just... How are we going to do today and tomorrow? Um, so let's see here. Here you can see Gyo with uh, some, some stones, some rocks. And then now baby I'm going to follow him to where we going to pick up the rocks. <laughs> And uh, this is the for money. Oh, hola. My uncle making way for the footpath. Hola. This is the strongest guy in the village. Hola. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's um really really hard work and um, we did this when I just came to the village where we uh, did some uh, extension on the footpath and uh, I must say it was really really harder than I thought so <laughs> Okay, people, let's go down and get some rocks. And we have the best rock finder in front of me. Hula! <laughs> and we have some people over there finding the rocks. The girl. So, um, we're gonna go and collect some rocks or stones further down. Um, and um, let's see how it is. Okay, people, I have my bag and I will now collect some rocks and stones and carry it back to the footpath. One hand, one, another one here. Hmm. This is for the foundation of the footpath. Okay, I will fill up the bag and then I will get back. Makreta no. Matavisi. My grandmother's grave. May her soul rest in peace. <laughs> okay, people, I have filled up my bag and now I'm ready to bring it back to where we do the footpath. Look, look. 
And we guys here all cool. Very strong guy, very strong guy. Oh man, no. This is the strongest guy in the village too. <laughs> okay people, so now I'm gonna carry this big bag back to the footpath. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, I think it's safe enough for me to carry it all the way. But yeah, as you can see, manual work, manual labor, and um, as my uncle always say, hard labor, no pay. You know, so that's what we do around here in order to better the village and better the, the life of the kids. Too, so they can have a smooth road to go back and forth and now look at this look at this um, pigs uh, uh, bones look look at how big it is yeah very big bolts <laughs> okay and now we see the school kids coming Hey, Mother. 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 Okay, we are almost there. Okay, let's get it off the bag. Oh, bula. Ah, uh, I've only got a footpath for a new race to go. But it's just going to go on the bully. On the lagman of him attack and be a calm of our rotation on the Vilorek, on the Kurbul. Donna will put Padme Razar to Long Walter Menesara, to look like to my kit to put Mingo, Mengalisha Melon. So, people, it's for the future generations of our island kids that we are doing it for. One day when I get old, I will look at my son. Yes, I said son, because one day I will only get sons when I get kids and uh, I will say to my sons look at this footpath this is from your father's this is from your father's hard work hard labor no pay and they'll be like did you really do that I said yes back in the day it was like that now we have all this PlayStation and shit like that we didn't have any okay I was maybe exaggerating but you know you have to make it sound good you know <laughs> look at how fast this guy is very professional very good at picking rocks and stones <laughs> Okay, in Bula Vinaka, that you're gonna have a part to me, you're gonna have to make a shop on my box, and you're filtering cement, and you're gonna cook, and the butuka, and you're gonna cook. Okay, so I'm gonna go and pick a part to go, and I'm gonna box, and I'm gonna go, 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 Okay, so people, the hardest, the easiest part is picking the stones, the rocks. The hardest part is carrying it. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, we go. Hey, more than one more. Hello. Let's see. Round two. I don't know how many rounds we're gonna do this. 20, 20. 20 rounds. See, 20 rounds. And uh, yeah, see if some of the village boys are coming back. Naka. Oh yeah, bola, bola. Bola. Yeah. And uh, you know, you just take it by your tempo. Don't rush it. Remember to take breaks in between. Namul and Bula. And uh, you know, don't force yourself to work hard, even though it is hard, but because you have this heat as well that is shining over you. So make sure you take it easy, you know after you drop this off when you go back sit down five minutes before you begin picking up the rocks again and uh yeah just make sure because if you do work too hard you'll get sick and that's not good Oops. Okay. So. That was round two. We're going back for round three. Fight. Look, 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 look. <laughs> this is my cousin Gios. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes to eat the balls, big balls from the pigs. Hey, hey! <laughs> See, that's him. He loves pig he loves balls. Ball. You love their balls, eh? <laughs> you love these nuts. He loves these nuts. <laughs> it's my last one. Senna, round 20. Last time. Okay people, time for round three. Let's go. And uh one of the previous videos so she just talked about that the land that was given to us um that it contains a lot of rocks in it a lot of stones because in this part of the island we have the mountains um, where our old village used to be at and uh, so we don't have a, a lot of like clean soil that we can use to farm but for making footpath he needs stones as a foundation of rocks and uh, so therefore this soil or the land is, was given to us because it contains a lot of rocks it's good right <laughs> so therefore it may not be good for for farming but it's good for making food path because you have a lot of rocks on the land that was given to us so you have to find always find the positive sides of things even though it's hard sometimes Okay. Hey, hey, fuck you.
finished with round three. Time for round four. So people, it started raining and um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, this is Kumar. Oh! Hi Prasad! Roy Krishna, if you're looking for your son, he's here. <laughs> so yeah people um, we're just getting a break because of the bad weather rainy weather and um, hopefully we can continue um, finish the job today we need to find sand as well to mix with the cement um so it, be, it can become concrete i don't know if we're gonna do it today or tomorrow the guys here the people here they say um we're gonna mix tomorrow because of the weather and also it's two-day job so today we're just gonna make the food pot ready yeah. Ngono <laughs> Sare <laughs> So people, now the school kids are helping out. They just got off school and now they're helping pick up the rocks. You can see here. And some of them up here. And over there in the far distance. So people, it's, as I said, a village job. When the kids get off school, they help out. And uh, this is the head boy of the school. Con <laughs> puto! Uh -huh. He's the head boy, class eight. Now oh, guys, don't listen to him. He's lying. <laughs> yes, that's the head boy. I'm the one who killed the lion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So, so before there's plenty lion in here. So right now there's no more lion because I already killed them all. The head boy killed all the lion. <laughs> Very creative from the kids. Very creative way to get the rocks all the way to the footpath.
El que vende en casa, que vende en casa. Dile que está con malo. So my uncle is just spreading the foundation now. The um, rocks, so we can have an even uh, flat, or it can all be leveled when we're gonna pour the concrete out onto the stones or rocks. <laughs> And look at the safety boots, safety boots, the safety boots, village safety boots. <laughs> so people, we're gonna take a lunch break. And after the lunch break, we're gonna find some sand that we're gonna mix with the cement and water so it could become concrete. So we can pour it out onto the rocks <laughs> goodly morning we are back again on the footpath project and um we were supposed to finish the, finish it yesterday in the afternoon but you know how uh, we villagers we plan it's not always the case that the plan goes perfectly so today we're gonna continue and uh, what we need is some sand to mix with the um, the uh, cement and water so we can get concrete and this is the mixer you can already see some of the guys they have uh, collected some sand and um, over here we have the cement that was provided by the government here right here and uh, these spades here are gonna uh, be used for mixing uh, all of the ingredients so we can get concrete then we can pour it out to the foundation which makes at the end the food path and you can see here this little naughty kid cuckoo is also helping today humble my So um, let's go collect some sand. Hola. And that is looks. Oi. Oi. Oh, wow. And you can see that some of the uh, village guys they are returning with some sand. Hola. Another one to fill the sand, eh? For the football, eh? Have a nice day! <laughs> and you remember the head boy of the school, of Motoriki District School, he comes here. The head boy is also helping out again today. <laughs> Don't listen to the head boy. <laughs> So people we have arrived where we're gonna collect the sand for our concrete for our mixing and you can see the village guys the village boys are here you know this guy looks <laughs> and uh you know also know this guy team body and um you can see just just manual work with a spade and a bucket and you don't need anything else and of course manpower and resources
And in between the work we also have Suki bricks. <laughs> You can see burning on it there. Ready to drag. Ready to drag his drum. <laughs> Okay, set. Okay, peeps. Okay, peeps. On we go. Back to the footpath. This end is actually heavy, to be honest. But I uh, have to, you know, when you're part of, you know, when you're part of the village, you have to do village work like this sometimes, help out in the community in order to better things. So I'm trying my best. <laughs> Be a better Fijian, as Lucas say. So this is the sand we collected so far. We just came back. Hey, look at people. Remember, people, to take your breaks in between, because this weather is hot. And um. Don't overwork yourself. You might get sick from this heat too. Hey, Kukwe. Very dangerous guy. Very, very, very loud guy. Kashi. So now, one of the village guys have begun to pour in this cement, and there's already sand in there you can see here this part here and you can see when he's mixing with the sand and now we just need some water in order for it to become concrete and then we're gonna pour it out to the surface and now they're pouring in the water <laughs> There's a leak, there's a leak. This is not good. There's a leak over the left side. So, that's it. Okay, we're all good again. And you can see it's slowly becoming concrete. <laughs> and there's another mix over here. Hey! <laughs> Oh, look at that. 
So now it's ready, we can pour it onto the foundation. Oh. Babe. Move, babe, move, move. Move. No, 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 no. Oh. Sorry. Oh. And some people are bringing more cement. And here, brother Jacob, and this is uh, my girl, uh, Gio, bringing. You're not a girl? No, I'm not a boy. Like a babe. Babe, be careful. <laughs> Okay, people while they are um, doing the mixing we have uh, we have a little sand left so some of uh, the guys are going back to get some more sand so we can continue the mixing and uh, baby and Andra. Andra, look at this uh, beautiful girl Andra. And yeah, that uh, black girl, very nice, eh? Black but sweet. Uro, uro. <laughs> so, we are back for round two of the sand mining. If you can call it that, collecting sand. Okay, people. Now we have filled up our 
sand in the bucket and bag and now we are slowly heading back to the food part hard labor no pain so people we just came back and dropped off another round of sand and you can see here how far the guys that are mixing how far they have come look they are actually pretty quick quick labor And brother Jacob is leveling the concrete. And now time for Suki break. Very important. People, I'm back in the village to pick up some cement over here because the guys down there that are mixing has almost run out of cement. And I'm here with my cousin. His nickname is Mr. Simendelib. <laughs> he knows everything about being cement. <laughs> yes, Simende. Simende. <laughs> and uh, it's 40 kg. God damn. This is heavy shit. And um, you know, my old back. Don't know if you can handle it. But let's see here, Mr. Cement. <laughs> <laughs> the technique he's doing to carry the cement all the way down. Hey, why, well, oh, Auntie? Wait, why Auntie, are you why are you laughing at the? <laughs> we are working here. Don't laugh at us. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Cement. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Look, you bow down. Don't show your DD. Otto! Woohoo! So nice. Strong guy, this Mr. Simende. Strong guy. Samurai. <laughs> okay. Let me. My turn. Boto! Bangamu Singlasa ne singlasa Okay, I got one But it's very heavy And my auntie is laughing at me See from Don't laugh auntie Okay Again, people It just shows village life It's not always Chill And down to earth Sometimes you have to work really, really hard. God damn. I regret, regret saying yes to pick up some cement. But uh, I don't want to lose to Mr. Cemente. Hey, Mbu. Pula Mbu. Pula Binaka, Ura. Yeah, this is Mbu. Pula Binaka, Nazakuzaka. Pula Binaka, Binaka, Mbu. Aye. Okay, let's go yalla Okay people, we are almost there it's Just a few meters Until I can put this cement off my shoulder Jesus Christ, look Woo! <laughs> 
Three more bags of cement. Okay. From Mr. Cement himself. <laughs> one cement there. Empty there. Come bring it, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you can see here the update. Look. We are. We are almost halfway. And the heat is just getting harder and harder. Wait. I must say, this is really hard work, and um, I've been trying to collect some sand, to mixing also, and also picking up the uh, cement bag. Um, what else to show you? Oh yes, where do they collect the water from? I'm gonna show you. So people, now I'm gonna show you the place where we collect the water that we bring down to the guys that are mixing. Here it is. This is the well, the village well. And you can see the water there, down there. And uh, no, we don't drink from there. Um, what they drink here as water is rain water that they collect. And now, sadly, I'm on my way to pick up another bag of cement. <sighs> it's for you, kids. It's for your future. Have to remember it. Even though I want to give up on this project, but I won't. Because when I look at the small kids like this naughty boy, I have to come to realization that I need to finish this. Modimwana. We're just gonna take a five minute break before we carry some more cement. Welcome to Nabudi village and this booth hardly we no pain. Uh, we have no lunch today. No lunch. No lunch. You keep on walking. Hard work, no pay, man. Look at my hands. From uh, the cement lifting, from the mixing. But, uh, man, almost at the end now. So people, we are done for today. The village work of extending the footpath is finished until next week where we go again. With <laughs> this is uh, the for money of the job. For money, whatever. Good or bad? Very good, Daniel. So after this, we're gonna go back to the village and have lunch. Thank you. Because I know a lot of these guys, they are hungry. See, they are so hungry that they are eating mangoes. 
Come here, you. Come here, Billy. Come. Come, Billy. Come, man. Come, man. Bite, man. Come, man. Come, man. Come, man. Come, man. Come, man. Come, Boy, look at this big mouth. Come, man. Come, man. And this is how it looks like. Hey! Hey, what's that shit? Yeah, you can see now he, uh, one of the men here uh, with a good hand in doing such something in the village yeah. Uh, the name, uh, what's your name? Tama. Tama. Tama, are you okay? <laughs> come, come boy. You have to go and have some lunch. And people, now all it needs is to dry, have some sunlight and um, hopefully it can be dry by tomorrow so we can come and look at it the finished product but yeah that's how it is in a uh, Fijian village um, where sometimes you have to do certain things in order to better the um, the village or to better the people in the village and uh, also the people on the island so uh, this is some of the hard work that we uh, do sometimes um, together and now back to the village to have some lunch oh yeah thank you thank you very much for the work job well done on top of this <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's been a couple of weeks ago uh, where we um, did the uh, work on the footpath and uh, here you can see after it's been dried out you can see here and um, I just want to show you the update and um, after the video um, the day where we did the video we um, worked on it further on extending it so uh, from the video it ends right about here here and uh, we have extended it more further down and uh, I think next week again we're gonna work on it but uh, you can see here this is where it ends and we're gonna continue down this way until we meet the others from the village uh, we will meet them halfway so yeah people just want to give an update on the footpath project, the infrastructure project and um, that's how far we have come and hopefully we can finish it by the end of this year. That's it people, until then.